Hi everyone! Um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk about how to sell art online because in this current situation not everyone has a stable incomes and maybe not everyone had a stable incomes or maybe you just decided that it is time to start your own little business or not little business so um just for a disclaimer i am no guru in selling online or uh, not financial advisor so don't leave your day job if you have to just because i'm telling you that you can sell your art online so to begin with uh, yeah uh, there is loads of different websites where you can do it like society six all kinds of print of, on demand i personally try to use redbubble right now and i will show you how i'm making my art from the very beginning on paper and how I digitalize it and put it on Redbubble. And I hope you're gonna enjoy that. Well, it just opened my shop, so I'm feeling excited about it. Not shop, like my page in Redbubble. So I will leave the link below if you want to see it and just as usual, thumbs up. Like now, now thumbs up. And subscribe. Let's start. By the way, as you see, I'm wearing beanie now uh, because, first thing, I bleached my roots and I look like a chicken now. It's all yellow. It was grey, but now it's all yellow, so I can't do anything about it now. And another thing why I'm wearing beanie is because I, I can't stand my hair anymore. I want to grow them and it doesn't happen that fast as I want to. And I, I look just awful, so I'm hiding in the hat. Yeah, I think I explained myself now. So, starting as usual, watercolor and paper. This is my favorite medium so far. Not I'm saying that I'm the best person in it, at it, but I, I just feel very, very passionate about learning watercolor. So I'm trying to do everything in it just to get used to that. Well, um, talking about the design and the all that print-on-demand business, I noticed that a lot of people recently started their own merch on websites like that and I thought I mean who can stop me then if everyone's doing why I cannot do that as well and why not to show for you if you never heard of it or you never thought about selling your art online because it sounds really cool because it just you do what you like and it's one time effort and you're just earning a little bit of money and um, the truth is that you cannot earn a lot a lot and a lot and probably you cannot sustain from websites like let's say Redbubble but it can be very nice add-on and um, design wise people recommend not to do like a masterpieces because first thing is very difficult to apply and another thing is I think that Redbubble kind of can use it even if you sign out of the website and the royalties comes to them then, so if you're very, very cautious about your intellectual property, don't upload anything which is very valuable for you. That's why I'm painting these leaves, which is just leaves and it's nothing too fancy, it's cute. It's nice, I would, I would like to have a t-shirt in that, but it doesn't have any particular meaning for me and it's not a piece of art, it's just nice doodle. Um, so I scanned my painting on the in my scanner and uploaded it to, into Photoshop. Simply what I'm gonna do, I'm selecting the subject and deleting the background and now I'm just cleaning up around the edges all the paper remainings because I really want to have the clean finished result. Just, I, I don't know, I think like it's white and on white t-shirt that would be cool but I'm not even planning to put it on any other color than white 
but just in case because it's watercolors and there is some gaps where the white shows through and let's say on black t-shirt it would look quite odd I would say. Uh, other than that I just think like little cleanups is always good to do uh, if you're uploading your art to online. It just makes edges nicer like more uh, aesthetic look. I'm extremely speeding all this screen recording because it's awfully boring to watch me editing and cleaning it up because it took me about nearly 40 minutes to do so. As you see I'm putting black background just to see if I missed something and clearly I did miss. So I'm cleaning up that but I'm not being too picky because as I said it's watercolor and sometimes white is just showing through the actual painting which I can't do nothing about it. And uh, the final step which I'm doing is making a pattern. Uh, by the way I'm using A3 template for that. Uh, just because I want to have as better as as good resolution as possible, and uh, I'm trying not to go over the edges because if I would like to do a grid, which I'll show you later, you will see why I'm not going over the edges, even if the composition a little would look nicer. Just because it will be very hard for me to apply on clothing later. Um, of course, if you're doing one single piece of your art, you can do it whichever way you want, but I thought if I would have only one or two palm trees or what is it, palm tree, it's just a plant, let's call it plant um, basically if I would have two branches it would look, the pattern would look very repeated and it would look probably boring and odd and not organic at all and now I'm trying to make it a little bit more dynamic and interesting to look at also to look better on the t-shirt, mugs, whatever. Well, it's about it, I think. It's a bit boring job to do it in Photoshop and my computer wasn't extremely pleased about all that today. I think there is something wrong with it. It's extremely slow. But we'll manage, we'll manage. Everything is under control. And again, also as usual, if you like this video and if you would like more tutorials like that, please let me know in the comments, subscribe, thumbs up for my channel and I'm waiting for the requests then. Um, also, I'm about to save it now as I nearly finished. Um, I just wanted to say that the best way for me, in my opinion, is to save it in PNG file just because I can have the clean background. And here we are in Redbubble. Press add new work, it's pretty easy. Upload new work and find your file which is Tropical Leaves which I found. Open it and it will start uploading. Meanwhile you can put your title, tags and description in and I'm not gonna tell you what kind of tags or description works, SEO and all that because it all depends on what it is and again I'm not the best person for social marketing so don't listen to my advice yet I'm, I'm learning I'm trying to learn oh yeah put tropical leaves pattern palm trees Hawaiian style uh, beach summer style greenery green leaves and I think that's it because Redbubble don't want you to put too many tags they're saying 10 15 sometimes 10 to 20 is the correct amount of tags and in the description you basically need to write what it is and how you made it, maybe. So that's about done. And it's loading on the products. And as you see here, it says enable, so that means it's visible in the shop. Well, basically it seems very easy because you can choose the size on the product, you can choose the color, um, even the style of the t-shirt and you're just applying changes and it's on your shop. However, I don't really like it in a square so I'm disabling it and I like these tops. Oh, I like that. Sometimes you don't need even to change anything if it looks good enough. You see, you can scale, put a grid on, 
like all kinds of things. It's pretty easy to use. It's basically made to be understandable for every single one person. So I'm just gonna quickly go, go through my shop and adjust my listings. And I think that will be it. I mean, it's a little bit time consuming for the first time, but when you're thinking that once it's uploaded, it's there forever. And every time someone purchases it, purchases, you have a little bit of money from that sale straight into your account. I mean, as far as I know, I just started like last week, so I haven't received any money yet, but you are welcome to buy if you like. That Redbubble pays you monthly, so you're not gonna get your money instantly. And simply, I'm choosing design and illustration, painting and mixed media. This is not mature content and I have a right to publish this work and that's it it's being proceeded and the design will be on all selected clothing in my shop i will leave a link below thank you for watching